الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله along with Tawheed the worship of Allah Azza wa Jal alone is a great command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we have to take seriously and we've talked about it many many times the importance of being respectful and obedient to our parents and one of the verses in the Quran that illustrate for us the importance of this great duty this great command and that it's coupled along with Tawheed is the verse in which Allah Azza wa Jal says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa qada rabbukum ala ta'budu illa iyyahu wa bil walidayni ihsana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ And your Lord has commanded. وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ And your Lord, has, your Lord has commanded that you worship Him and Him and no other along with Him. And you ascribe no apartness. وَقَضَى رَبُّكُمْ أَلَا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّاهُ وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And your Lord has decreed or commanded that you worship none alone except Him. And to your parents have إِحْسَان So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us with Tawheed and prohibiting us from shirk. He's commanding us with Tawheed to worship Him and Him alone by His Lordship, which is His divine right to be worshipped, His ownership of all creation, his, the fact that He created all things, and that He is a sustainer of all things. And Tawheed also includes that this worship is only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ala ta'budu illa iyahu. And do not worship anyone except Him. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is Tawheed al uluhiyah or Tawheed al ibadah they also refer to it as the Tawheed of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Pure monotheism in action by the action of the servant because their worship is directed to Allah Azza wa Jal alone. And coupled along with Tawheed showing us that the great status of of, of of uh, being obedient to our parents is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded that Tawheed prohibited shirk and he called us to be have ihsan towards our parents to be righteous to be obedient to treat them with kindness and respect to serve them all of that is included in ihsan and may Allah bless us to be of the muhsineen ameen ya rabbil alameen so, the station of the parents is great. That means when they order you to do something, you should do it. As long as it doesn't go against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you. And when they are in need, you should give and you should serve them. And other than that, but especially when they have, it's a time of their need, when they're having difficulty, in their old age and so forth that you should be there to serve them and not be disobedient to them
And as the Prophet Sallallahu ordered us with this and showed us that one of the greatest sins is Aquq Walidain, is actually being disobedient to our parents. The opposite is that we're obedient and that we have the, this Ihsan. And that is from Islamic morals and Islamic manners and Islamic standards. So this is the sifat of the mu'min, is that they are, they are righteous towards their parents, regardless of the, whether their parents are believers or not believers. And they should want that their parents become believers. And may Allah bless all of us who have non-Muslim parents to be, that their parents be guided, ameen, and become believers, ameen. Ahli iman wa ahli jannah. The Prophet wasallam said, ما من شيء أذكر في ميزان مؤمن يوم القيامة من حسن خلق وإن الله يبغض الفحش البدي. There isn't a thing that weighs uh, heavier on the scale of a believer than حسن خلق than than righteous uh, manners. And verily, Allah hates wicked and sinful speech. So from those righteous, that righteous conduct, those righteous manners. Is taking care of the parents and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.